Hello everyone, welcome to MeLife Studies. In this video, we are going to solve a few SQL interview problems. You can see here it is given a problem statement given employee details like ID, name, age, department, and salary information, and also given consider age in between 18 to 30, middle age in between 31 to 45, old age in between 46 to 60, and then senior citizen is greater than 60 age. Okay. And we need to find a different responses. You can see here we are going to solve these three problems. So first problem is find the number of employees in each department with their age group. So it is asking us to return the data as per their department wise and their age group wise. So for example, in the given data we will we'll be having different departments. For example, A, B, C. So in each department we need to find. So what is the, I mean how many people are working in A, I mean the range of young age people, middle age people and then old age and senior citizen right so this is how for each department we need to find the number of employees working in each department as per their age groups okay and the second question would be find the percentage of employees working in each department as their age group so here in the first question we just found so number of employees working in each department as per their age groups right so similarly here we are going to find the percentage of employees under each age group okay in that particular departments okay that is the second question Next final question, find the employees who are next to young people in each department. You can see here this is the problem statement and these are the three problems that we are going to solve in this video, right? Now if you observe these are the details like employee ID's name, age department and salaries, we already considered a lot of data in previous problems, right? Now I am going to consider one of the data. You can also take the data from previous videos description box, okay? Now you can see I am just considering one of the table from this database. Let's see. I'm going to use mean life studies one. You can see what are the tables are uh, available here. Employees information, employees. These are the two uh, related to employees, right? Let's see this table first. If that is matching for our requirement, then we'll consider that. Mm, now you can see here. We are having employee ID, employee name, age, department, and salary. Exactly, this is this is the data is given right in the given statement. Now we need to find these are the three problems that we are going to solve. Okay. Now first problem: find the number of employees in each department with their age groups. Okay. Now first we'll see how many people are working in each department. How can you find that? So with the help of group by and for each department. Okay. Now I'm going to consider each department wise what we have to find number of employees. Right. I'm going to use count of employee ID from given table that is employees info. Okay. Now, if you execute this query, you'll be getting error because so you are using this one, right? That means other than aggregate function, you are trying to return another response. So if you are trying to return any other column other than the aggregate function, you have to keep this column in group by, right? So that I'm just returning that in group by. Okay. Now you can see if I execute this query we will be getting for each department and how many people are working right now if you observe this problem we need to find not to find the number of people in each department we need to find the number of people as per this one age group wise right now for example in engineering department these are the five employees are working in among these five there could be 18 to 30 age people will be there 31 to 40 age will be, i mean these are the people will be there right so now these five people five people will be are segregated into different number as per their ages right now let's see how can we do that so here we need to count as per their age groups right now i'm just removing this one here so here it is given different cases i mean different situations are given different conditions you can see here so for that i'm going to consider conditional statements so if this condition is true then we'll be counting that so if this condition is true, then we'll be counting that, right? So that is how we are going to return those number of employees under each group. Okay, let's see how we can do that. So here I'm just counting case when, okay, case when is the conditional statement, right? So here age, I'm just mentioning age between, what's the age? 18 and 30, right? 30, then I'm going to return as one, okay? Now what is this? This is engage people count. I'm just mentioning this one here if you are mentioning like this it will be written error so after each conditional statement you have to end that statement okay here so this is the condition we are checking and you are returning this one right so next what you have to do you have to end this one 
okay if you are trying to do else part then other than these people also you will be counting it so you are trying to do it here counting so you should not return else part even if you are returning else part also other than this age group you are trying to return that particular value also under this particular age group okay so that's why i'm not mentioning any else block okay so directly i'm just ending it up so this is the young age people right i'm just mentioning as young age okay so this is how we are counting number of engaged people under this age range okay similarly we are going to count the different conditions as mentioned in the given statement okay now i'm trying to find count of case when age between 31 and 45 then i'm going to count it up and then end it up as middle aged okay next one count of case when age between what is that 46 and you can see here what is that age 46 and 60 right 60 then what i have to do i have to count it up next end it as old age okay next one count of case when age between greater than right so it is just greater than 60 age is greater than 60 then i'm just counting to 1 okay next i have to end this as senior citizen okay now this is from this table right so now if you observe same thing we are trying to return department right so in department wise these are the condition and in that particular condition we are trying to counting them right so that's why i'm just keeping group group by as department okay now if i execute this one you can see here what we are getting so we are getting young age middle age old age and senior citizen as four columns we are getting and this is another column department wise we are trying to find you can see here all of the responses right so total of how many people are there you can see here select count of employee id from employees info you can see how many people are working so total of 23 right now here also if you observe so if you add all of them you can see 3 7 10 12 16 18 19 20 22 23 total of 23 you can see here so total of 23 people are there but if you observe there is no old age people and there is no senior age people right so that is why you are getting only these two people right so this is the first problem solution i hope you understood each department wise age wise we are return the data right i hope you understood similarly why you might be asking like why you are using count here right let's see if we use some how it's going to return okay so each time you are just summing it up okay so if you are using sum let's see if you execute this one you will be getting the same result like 2 3 0 4 1 3 likewise you can see here what you are getting but if you are adding these values other than those particular range in finance if there is no engaged people that will be returning as null right so whereas counting up it won't be considered right so if there is no people are there in that particular age group that will be returning as null right let's see we'll avoid that also let's see how we can do that so let's see i'm just returning here else zero okay if i execute this one you can see here we are getting zero right so similarly you can also add here else zero so that it will be if not in that particular age group that will be returning zero at the final you are just adding it up right if yes one if not zero so if you add also you will be getting only those people who are working under this particular age group okay similarly here also you can just mention else zero okay here also else zero and end it up now you can see you will be getting in place of all nulls you will be getting zero right so this is how you can also do that but if you observe here if i use here count now you can see how it's going to return so this is the last case now you can see here you are getting this one this result if you are using count and in place of else if you are using zero it's going to count both one as one and zero as one so that will be counting as two but actually there is no people comes under citizen senior citizen right so you should be very careful of using sum and count while you are using different conditional statements okay you should not use count while you are returning else also okay so you have to use sum it up now you can see right so even if you have any doubt you can see this uh, data select star from employees in for where age is greater than 45 okay is there any people no as per this data we are not getting anything you can see here there is no people 
So that's why we are not getting any old age and senior citizen from this data. Okay. I hope you understood. Now we'll solve second problem. Find the percentage of employees working in each department as they age group wise. So similarly, this is the same problem, but we need to find in this problem, in the first problem we just solved how many people are working in each department with their ages wise, right? Now, similarly, we are going to find in engineering department, how many people are there total? Five people. So percentage of engaged people will be two by five and percentage of middle aged people will be three by five. Right. So similarly, in each department, we need to find the percentage of engaged, middle age, old age. Likewise, we need to find how can we solve this problem? Just we need to divide it by total employees working in each department. Right. So here 2 by 5, 3 by 5, 0 by 4, 4 by 4. That is how we are going to solve this one. Okay. Now I'm going to change it. Otherwise, I'm just copying this one. Okay. Now what we have to do, we have to divide it, these each result with the total count of employees in each department. Right. Let's see here what I'm going to do here. I'm just changing this one to, okay, here I'm just counting count of star. Okay. Now you can see if I use like this, how we'll be getting that? You can see you are getting zero because of these all are integer types, right? So we, if you want to have the percentage, what we have to do, we have to multiply with 100, right? Even if you want the exact numbers, you can see, you can also use 100.0. You can see what you are getting two by five, total of 40 percentage here also. You can see here, I'm just division by count of total people. Anyway, you are using group by, right? So you'll be counting of each, I mean, number of employees in each department. Okay. So similarly, you can do here, divided by count of star. Similarly, here also. Okay. Now, if you want to find the percentage, you can mention 100.0. Here also, you can mention 100.0. So to get exact percentage. Okay. Now, if I exit this one. You can see here we are getting it right so 40 60 total of 100 percentage right so engaged of 40 percentage in engineering department and middle aged of 60 in engineering department you can see only in finance department only middle aged people are there okay 100 percentage middle aged people okay next hr also 25 75 likewise okay here also it people 100 so likewise you can also get here so even if you observe here also in id only engaged people is there you can see in ID, only engaged people is there. There is no other people. Okay. In marketing, two, two, right. Total of four people. So it will be 50 percentage and 50 percentage. You can see here. You can see here 50 percentage, 50 percentage. So this is how we are finding the percentage of employees in each department, their age groups wise. Okay. This is second problem solution. I hope you understood. Next final problem that is third problem. Find the employees who is next to engaged people in each department. So here it is asking us to find the next two engaged. If you consider the age is in any order, we need to find the engaged. That means the lower age people, right? And here we are not finding the engaged people. We are finding the next two engaged people. Who is next to engaged people? That will be the just higher than the lowest value of ages, right? So that is second lowest age people, right? So here what we have to find, we have to find those employee details whose ages are the second lowest in among all employees, okay. Select the start from employees info. If you observe here, so these are the details. I'm just ordering by order by age, okay. By default, it's a ascending order, right? Now you can see here. So we are getting so entire organization by this is the order. But what we have to get? So we have to find the second next to engage people in each department. So in each department, we need to return the second lowest aged employees, okay. How can you do that? So it is uh, easy to solve with the help of window functions, right? Let's see here. I'm just finding the second. Second means here, I'm just assigning rankings on the basis of their ages, okay? Here, I'm just using here dense rank because we don't know how many people are having the same age, right? So that's why I'm just using dense rank of over order by in which order we are trying to find the ages in ascending order, right? I mean, we are finding the second lowest, okay? Ordered by age ascending order by default ascending order, right? Now we have to remove this one. Now you can see here what we are getting. So we we assigned a ranks on the basis of their ages for entire organization body, right? So that's why you are getting one, two, three, likewise. Now what we have to do? So we have to find for each department, right? So that's why I'm just using here partition by department. So what we are doing here, partition by department, for each department, we are assigning a dense rank on the basis of 
in this order right now you can able to see for each department there is a ranks assigned on the basis of these ages you can see here 28 30 32 this is the age now you can see here in another, another department 37 40 42 45 in another department 29 31 all in ascending order right you can see here in it only one person is there in marketing 26 likewise you can see here now from this data if you filter out with second so here you might ask if the same 30 is another person is there we are using dense rank so that you will be getting here also second one right so that's why i'm using dense rank here is there any case here okay here is there a case right so now if you are using rank so in marketing it will be one okay it is it okay sorry okay now also you can see either if you use rank how it's going to return you can see here one two three four five one two three four five similarly but if in case in the same department we'll be having the same age people right for that it will be assigning one one but for the next one it's going to assign three we will be missing second right so that is why i'm just using dense rank okay so it is always preferred to use dense rank we don't know how many people are having the same age right now you can see here so from this data if i filter out where this rank is equals to two we will be getting the second next two i mean the next two age people right that is second lowest age people right now i'm just considering this i'm assigning as d r and k you can see here now i'm selecting all details from this data i have to give for each inner query i have to give any alias right i'm just giving h where h dot d r and k equal to 2 so that's how we are getting second lowest employee ages details you can see here second lowest aged employee details we are getting you can see in each department in engineering department this is the person in finance this is the person h of this is the person in it there is only one person is there there is no second person so that's why we are not getting it right so this is how we can return any responses okay i hope you understood even if a uh, question would be like you need to return the second next to the highest aged employees for example here it is mentioned as the next to engaged right so if i ask second to old age people or else you can see here if you want to find also you can also find old age people okay second to old age people how can you find that just mention in it as descending order so that you'll be getting all and second next to old age people okay you can see here all these different responses okay it's all based on this way how you are going to order you can see now you'll be getting these are the employees who are second next to engaged people okay i hope you understood